Hello everyone. So today we are going to solve the problem related to fleeced beam. The concept have been told to you in the earlier lecture. So today we will solve the problem related to that. So the problem is a timber beam 150 mm wide and 200 mm deep. Okay. Here the timber section. This is of 150 mm width and 200 mm depth. The middle portion. This is of wood. Here you can see this is the sign convention for the wood is reinforced by bolting two steel plate steel flitches so okay so the plates are called as flitches here okay so don't need don't need to worry flitches are plates this by bolting two steel flitches each of 150 mm wide and for 12.5 mm thick here one thing you have to see the width of the steel plate as well as the timber plate are same the width have to be same and 12.5 mm thick okay find moment or stance of the composite section when flitches are attached symmetrically okay at top and bottom and at sides there are two cases when first case you have to attach the plates at top and bottom means this is the first case when the plates are firmly secured at top and bottom fletching fletching and when the plates are attached symmetrically at the sides now the maximum perceptible strain stress in wood means sigma w is given 6 newton per mm square and m is to equals to 20 means modular ratio is also given here okay now what now first of all this is the wooden section it is attached with two steel plates by bolting so this will be a flitch flitch section and it will be considered as a composite section okay now the width is same so it is kept like this and the depth is 12.5 and 12.5 so total depth will be 200 plus 12.5 plus 12.5 means 225 mm now we know how will be the bending stress here so this is the wooden section in sent in the middle so the stress variation will be linear this is the neutral axis first of all you will have to find the neutral axis because the set section is symmetric about both the axis so the neutral axis will lie at the center here okay so 220 from top it will be at 225 by 2 okay means at 112.5 mm this is the neutral axis here so at from neutral axis stress will vary for this wooden section it will vary like this here you can see it has been shown by dark line dark blue line so it will reaches the maximum value in foot at sigma w and here too it reaches the maximum value sigma w okay above neutral axis and below neutral axis as it reaches the joint where the steel plate is connected at top and as well as the bottom the stress will be changed by how much time sigma w will be changed to sigma s because steel comes in roll so the stress will be changed so sigma s is what m into sigma w this thing we have seen in earlier lecture this this the same point or at the same junction the stress in steel it will be m times of stress in wood okay for it is a common sense that stress in steel will be more than the stress in wood at the same point at the same junction similarly now after that there is the complete steel so the stress will vary linearly here similarly here this will vary linearly here now it reaches the maximum value sigma s max and sigma s max so now here we know it has been given already that the molar ratio es upon ew is 20 and sigma w permissible stress in wood is given 6 newton per mm square so you can find the stress in steel at the level of wood where the wood and steel are jointed the stress in steel will be m times of stress in wood m into sigma w so it will be 6 into 20 m is 20 and stress in wood is 6 so it will be 120 unit will be what newton per mm square unit is very important now what will be sigma s max by just your similar triangle property that we have already used sigma s max upon sigma s we are taking this Last triangle and this small triangle. Here you can see this is large triangle and this is 
a small triangle that I am considering here. This is large one and this is smaller one. Okay, so both are similar triangles. So by this similar triangle property, we can write sigma s max. This is the face sigma s max, and what is the height here? One one two point five divided by sigma w. Well, divided by sigma s for this smaller triangle sigma s upon the depth will be 100 so the sigma x max will be 112.5 divided by 100 into sigma s so sigma s we have already found so its sigma x mass will be 135 newton per mm square now we have found out the value of stresses at junction as well as at the top and bottom now we have to find what is the total moment of resistance so moment of resistance for wood will be what because the center is the wood and the stress diagram is linear here and the maximum value reaches to sigma w so it will be sigma w into the section modulus because moment of resistance m equals to sigma into z z is what the section modulus and z we know what is z i upon y i is bd cube by 12 because it is section is rectangular and y is d by 2 so the maximum value of y will be d by 2 means the top surface or as the bottom surface of this food in section so it will be bd square by 6 so sigma w is we know 6 and v is 150 and d is for this section is 200 so 150 into 200 square divided by 6 so moment of resistance for wood will be come out 6 into 10 plus 6 newton mm we have converted it into kilo newton meter okay so we have divided by 10 q or 6 now moment of resistance in steel will be so here you can see in this diagram steel is is at the top and at the bottom in the center there is wood there is no steel so for finding the moment of resistance for these top and bottom plates bottom steel plates what we will do we will just consider this wooden plate as the steel plate and we will find the moment of resistance moment of resistance for this whole section considering the whole section as a steel and we will subtract the moment of resistance of the this middle imagined steel portion okay so how here you can see the moment of resistance will be sigma s max because if we are considering the whole section as steel so maximum value reaches as sigma s max so it will be sigma s max into bd square by 6 so width will be v v is same and total depth will be d plus 2t why i have taken here b plus d plus 2t because d is the depth of wooden section and t is the depth of the steel plates so it will be d plus 2t whole square divided by 6 bd square by 6 so this is when when we are considering the wooden portion as the steel portion but in actual this is not the case in actual there is wood so for the center portion we will have to subtract the moment of resistance so for the center portion here you can see what is the maximum value of stress reaches in steel this is sigma s so it will be sigma s into bd square by 6 because the center portion is of width v and depth d so just by putting all the values sigma s max is 135 b is 150 d 200 plus 2 into 10 d is 12.5 so it will be 25 whole square divided by 6 minus by putting all the values we can find so it is it comes out 50.86 kN meter so for wood it is 6 kN meter and for steel 50.86 kN meter so the total moment of resistance resistance for this section for the fleece section will be 6 plus 50.86 the summation of both so it will be 56.86 kN meter so this is the first case when the wooden plate is fleeced at top and bottom symmetrically now there is other another case also when the plate when the wooden section is fleeced at sides okay now there is another case here you can see so this is the neutral axis here you can see this is the neutral axis which passes at the center because the section is symmetric about both the x axis and y y axis so about this neutral axis the steel plates will be placed symmetrically means half will be above neutral axis and half will be below neutral axis on the both sides on the left as well as on the right so this is 150 and this is 12.5 this is 12.5 this is 150 okay like this we will have to fletch our plates always now the plates are fleeced on the sides 
so first of all we will draw the bending stress distribution for this wooden section so what for wood what is the maximum value of stress is permissible stress is sigma w so here the stress diagram will vary linearly and reaches the maximum value at the top as well as the bottom because it is wood here so it is sigma w and sigma w here you can see the steel is just below from the top from the top of the wooden surface the steel is below here means the to find the value of stress in steel we will have to find the value of stress in wood at this point where the plates are connected so for that i have considered here the stress at that point this is sigma w dash so by taking the similar triangle property here also we can find the sigma w dash equal to 75 sigma w dash will be uh, here i can i can write here sigma w upon sigma w dash this is the base equals to for the uh, larger triangle it will be 100 divided by 75 so here you can see sigma w dash will be 75 divided by 100 into sigma w into sigma w which is 6 so it comes out 4.5 newton per mm square so now sigma w dash has been found out so at the same junction at the same level we, we can find the value of stress in steel which will be m times of sigma w dash so it sigma s dash we have denoted by sigma s dash will be m times sigma w dash which come out m is 20 so it will come out for 90 newton per m square so now the moment of resistance will be for wooden section it will be sigma w because the maximum value of stress in wood is sigma w so it will be sigma w into bd square by 6 so it will come out 6 kilonewton meter and for steel it will be because the maximum value reaches at sigma s dash here here you can see the maximum value of stress in steel reaches at the sigma s dash value so this is placed at the both the sides so the stress diagram will be linear for this too this will not be considered for for the both the portions only the middle portion where the steel plates are taken so it will be sigma s dash into 2t because width is what t into t so 2t into d dash square the center portion upon 6 so it will be sigma s dash 90 into this will be 25 into center portion is 150 square divided by 6 so it will be 8.44 kilonewton meter so total moment of resistance will be 14.44 kilonewton meter so it is the moment of resistance when the plates are placed on the sides here you can see the plates are placed on the sides now if you see which moment of resistance is greater so moment of resistance in top and bottom flist you have a moment of resistance in side flist so we are seeing the ratio is coming out 3.94 means moment of resistance in top and bottom flist is more by three to four times than this moment of resistance in side flist you can say the top flist top and bottom flist sections are more stronger than the side flist section this is the conclusion then that we can made from this problem okay for further numericals please go through my previous lectures or and i will share one assignment with you guys please go through that and solve all the problems thank you